Hello girls, how you doing? Let's do another pick and today is going to be what are they doing? So you might not be in contact with them and even if you are, <laughs> you might still wonder, oh my goodness, I don't know why. <laughs> Let's not be triggered. Let's say cool is just tarot. That's what we normally say, right? Okay, so two pounds. <laughs> why are you asking those questions, Axel? I don't know. So one, two, one, two. Pound number one, what are they doing? Five of Sword, the Hangman, the Hierophant, very nice. So to start with, they were thinking that you're out of the league. And maybe that was the case, really. So uh, they had to do something about it. They thought, uh, well, that's it, I'm stuck, I'm never going to be good enough. Or maybe they're stuck in another relationship. Therefore, they're going to do something about it and change the perspective as a result. How are they going to do that? Well, if they are married, for example, they might think of legal action and have some information, uh, legal information. And in general, they will actually try to in improve the situation, to um, increase their knowledge, uh, their wisdom, um, maybe it's through healing, therapy, talking to a good friend, um, but also just in general, um, asking themselves the big question. To be fair, they know that you meant to be the authority from above, the big boss, as we call it. Uh, whether you know you want to call it God, universal, or unicorn, I don't mind, whatever. Um, it's kind of decided that you two are meant to be. So there is something to be uh, improved. There is something to be learned. Um, there's definitely an idea of come back together if you are in separation. Interesting. So that's what they're doing, right? Yeah, they're covering your heart. I have the feeling that there's probably a little bit of a situation here. Um, but also for you, it's important to improve uh, your yourself. Um, maybe increase your knowledge, uh, working on self-development as well. How to trust again, how to believe in love again, or maybe just in general become uh, becoming a bigger person, a better person in every way as possible. Yeah, it was inevitable for you guys to have that kind of separation maybe or very strong conversation. You were also meant to meet uh, because sometimes, yeah, meet, meeting, it's kind of like a big tower moment in someone's life. Tower moment doesn't always have to be dramatic. A lot of people are scared of it. I think it's a blessing in disguise, but it can be scary at first. It changes your routine. It completely um, transforms your world. So um, I think you are meeting or reconnecting because you needed to work on yourself. And now you can actually start over, but on a stronger base and stronger foundation. So what they're doing, they're preparing themselves, learning Absolutely. Maybe learning to see that they're not stuck. Nothing stays stuck in this world. And also learning that, you know, you happen for a reason. And that doesn't mean that you are out of the league. Absolutely not. So let's try to build on this. Right. Yes, they be back and forth at the moment. There's a lot of um, physical attraction as well. A lot of chemistry to you too. Yes, what they're doing, they're preparing themselves because it's about starting over, but this time nurturing the relationship because you have learned, both of you, to, to know the worth of this relation, uh, to also, uh, how can I say, to learn to appreciate your own values and your own worth. And I think self-worth, <coughs> excuse me, went the wrong way, <laughs> self-worth, it's crucial. And a lot of people who may have a, a bit of an attitude, quite often it's about covering up this lack of self-worth. So you're ready to starting something brand new, but with a better foundation. And that's what they're doing. They're getting ready. So that is absolutely beautiful. I like that very, very much. Okay, so part number two, what are they doing? Ace of Cups, High Priestess, Knight of Wands. Ooh, here we go. They are getting ready to, or they're on their way already, uh, to rush towards you. Because, uh, um, okay, they might not have the full manual. They might not know how or why or whatever. It seems a bit, you know, organic. Um, but they want to make an offer, an offer of love. I think maybe they suffer from love at first sight. They don't really know how to cope. That happened before this week, I think. Um, but also it's an idea of offering you something. Um, it might not be completely ready. It's a bit of a draft version, but it's sincere. It's, it's really full on. And uh, it's a lot of passion here. 
a lot of passion. The way it's going to come out might be a little bit all over the place. Let's get really straight. It's a bit of a tsunami, okay? But the intention is right. Okay, so what they're doing, uh, you know all along because you knew uh, you recognize the potential of this connection a long time ago. Or if it was about work, you recognize the potential of that person, but they didn't really show you um, their motivation. And now, oh my goodness, they're full of other room and uh, they're hard to contain, actually. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, because for a long time, they were very strategic, hesitant, once, you know, one step at a time, very, very slow, very, very different, very different than this. Oh my goodness. So now they want to communicate in a much more forward and you go from one extreme to another, no doubt about it. What they're doing, they learn new ways, uh, new skills, they're using new tools. They want to keep that connection going. They don't want the end of it at all, but they just want to learn. And you as well, maybe. I think it happened for both of you. You want to learn and grow um, as a person, but also maybe accept that this connection is completely outside of the box. It's definitely not your typical relationship, like we meet and we go out. Blah, blah, blah. You know the story, right? Uh, this one is completely unexpected, a bit everywhere and everywhere. I mean, really, it's like a, like a fireworks and you don't really know what's going to happen next. Woo! This is what's happening next. It's happy ever after. That is absolutely stunning. So what they're doing, they, you know, really are coming towards you and with a lot of passion, a lot of... Um, Good vibes. I like that very much. Yes, it's a little bit over the place, but hey, I love spontaneity. My God. And to be fair, I think you've been waiting for a while, so let's get on with it. <laughs> on this note, have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.